What is going on, guys? We are back with week five in the Relocation franchise, and I think we have decided it's a very tough decision. Very tough. But I decided we will be going to become, if I can find it, the Express. San Antonio Express coming up. Uh, who are the negotiations? I don't even know. No one's super crazy. So, of course, had a couple of people ask me, are we even going to play the games? We will. We will. Just got to get to uh, the off season. Not touching that media question. I'll tell you what. Look at the names of the jerseys we're selling. Like, John Ross is the only decent one here. Same with Jay Zay Jones. But everyone else, like, really? Soon. Soon. I love the idea that he's talking about a Blue Bridge burger. I don't even see. Oh, there it is. Never mind. I actually think $5 is fine. I don't see how $5 for a burger and a drink is that much. I'd say a coffee is too much. Oh, maybe it's not a burger and drink. Maybe it's just the burger. Still, five bucks. It's not bad at a place like that. Our friend is not willing to pay that much for fries. I don't know if you guys touch this. Yeah, five dollars for fries is a little bit. Why are they charging that much for soft pretzel? That's about standard, I think. Five bucks? I don't know why they are. They just always are. But yeah, let's move on. I mean, we got our, uh, our movements. I don't know how long it's going to take to actually, like, fully decide where we're going. But, All right, so choose a name. Can we choose... The San Antonio Jags. No, that makes no sense. Express has a little bit of interest. And I don't like the fact that they have little interest, but I like the color scheme. So that is why we will choose them. So do we scout all the quarterbacks? I think so. Chandler Sam, he's 24. Ben Huang, I think he's probably the best. Because like I said, it's not about just getting a good quarterback. It's about getting a fun one. So Trey Friedman or Ben Huang. Of course, Ben is uh, a little bit... Lower on his projection. He's not really living up to that early first yet. But we'll see. Running back. I actually kind of like the guy we have, but we'll see about him once again. All of this is just for the time being. Time being. That's how you go back in time, using the time being. So now we choose the uniforms. I believe when watching... Oh, maybe I'm wrong. What's the difference? So I like I get a little bit of orange there. I like the gray helmets more. This is tough because I don't like the white helmet really. By the way, what's with the like the really low quality picture they use for these uniforms? I think we're gonna go with this one. Oh, totally forgot. Did I miss it? I did not. I forgot to trade for our player. A lot of people were on the fence, really didn't know where to go with it. You know, some people saying top corner. Uh we did draft a corner. You know, we got Ellis. Jalen's not too bad. The biggest need we have. Holy first rounds. One, two, three, four. Okay, well, I think even though we're really in bad shape here, I think it's only fair to give them a first round for him anyways. You guys probably saw this coming, but where is he? Oh, yeah, I forgot I changed his position to make him easy to trade for. Did they release him? That wasn't the plan, but Miles Garrett, I moved him to right guard. I will still get the Browns their first round pick, though, because... They deserve a good pick for the player that they have lost. And a guy like him. No, it's not even the Browns anyways. What am I talking about? It's the Titans. But a guy like him goes a long way. I'll take a fifth off. I'm going to be a little sleazy. So let's get Miles Garrett moved back in to the right end spot. And now our final move is the stadium, of course. Do we want to just drop some cash? I really don't want a dome. I have the Cowboys lead that I play in a dome. Uh, we're in a good location for uh, weather, so we can play in an open stadium. A deluxe futuristic. I kind of like the traditional. I don't want a basic traditional. Is there a deluxe traditional? There's a deluxe traditional. Love this old school stadium design. Looks like the Rose Bowl stadium. Then again, I do want it to be realistic. If you're going to go with a new stadium, you got to go with this. So the build cost is $1.35 billion, which we clearly do not have that kind of money as, as of right now. But the weekly cost isn't too bad. So we'll go on paper. It looks like this is the best choice, but they need to pay attention to the cost versus the seating. Ah, screw it. We're going to go for the best. We're going for a deluxe futuristic stadium. I don't even know that's the best, but it's the best in my book. Don't want a dome, and that's not what we're going to have, so... Hopefully we don't go bankrupt. Let's see if there's any new quarterbacks entering the fray. I mean, this guy's not bad either, but like I said, I really want a fast guy. So the combine is going to be a very 
interesting one for us this year. Wide receiver, not really a big issue, but kind of like Zach Harrison doesn't go unnoticed, obviously. But for the most part, a position that we're not in super need for, other than maybe the bigger guys I'm probably not going to scout too much of. We got a new tight end already, which is nice. Still going to look at the other tight ends, though. You can keep that media question, lady. You can keep it, toots. There is a middle linebacker. Trayvon Lone. Not bad. And this DT looks kind of insane. George Glass. Mid-third. Uh, and that's the kind of crazy thing about this draft is there seems to be a lot of a lot of guys later that you can wait on and fill a really solid position. It is week 15. Amari Butler won the Heisman vote. So quarterback Najvar, Tucker Najvar, this was the guy that I thought was actually pretty solid. Same with uh, Tommy Frazier. Where is the Pittsburgh quarterback, though? Don't even see one. Okay. And Amari Butler is a wide receiver. Looks pretty good. We'll see the speed before we make any decisions. Moving on to the playoffs, what are we looking like? What are we looking at? Whoa, who am I? I don't even know where I am. Resign staff. Do we have anyone to resign? So I guess we can resign them, but we're all set for now. 2020, 2021. Uh, DB overall. I'll actually give another extension here. Of course, we did not make it. Don't know if you guys needed me to, to tell you that. I'll show you guys we didn't cheat, even though don't know why you would expect that either. We already have tons of draft picks, so I don't even know if we have our own pick. To be fair, we could easily have traded. Let's take a look at how the performance was, though, for the team. So season one seems so far away. Honestly, don't even remember how we played, but Harris Olsen, all things considered, wasn't the worst ever. Adonis Metcalf, seven fumbles. Did have 11 touchdowns. What was his per carry? 3.4. And eh. receiving Galladay at 1,000 exactly. John Ross, very disappointing. Hopefully, hopefully kick returner. Pro bowler. Defensively, Miles Garrett, eight and a half sacks. Montrevious, seven average picks or totals. George Ellis, maybe defensive rookie of the year if we're lucky. Will Lutz, great season. Clemens, decent season. John Ross, good kick return touchdown. Punt return, nothing. So, yardage. 32 L, 32 D, clearly, right? Please, one rookie award. Okay, so this is interesting. Like I said, Harris Olsen wins offensive rookie of the year. Must have been some weak. Oh, Zinger would have won it. That would have been nice. Defense rookie of the year, number... Where the hell were you? Number four, number five, number seven, and number ten. I would assume that would be the only awards that we would have gotten... Will Lutz also won kicker of the year, so that's interesting. Any crazy XP totals? John Ross did not make the Pro Bowl. Olsen with offensive rig of the year still only had 15K. Defensive players, I mean, there really wasn't. I mean, we're all red. Red in the face. There's nothing really to look forward to there. Even with a couple of awards, shockingly. Still didn't get much going. So, uh, all-star MVP, Dion Duckett. 19 tackle performance. Deion Duckett, ooh, he's a right outside linebacker. Don't really know what he is yet, though. Is he a coverage? Is he a pass rusher? Blockshed says anything, really. Blockshed says whatever the hell it wants. Damn it, we have to resign Miles Garrett. 23 years old. I'd be willing to give him a six year here. 29, it would be the first regression year. Actually, we'll sign him to the full seven year. You're never leaving deal. Good offer. Well, I'd hope so. So we got Miles Garrett back, and he is on the team till he's 30. <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty impressive. Got a great deal out of, I mean, both teams, both sides of it. He probably would have wanted probably a four-year, five-year in real life, but gets what he gets. TJ Jones, quick dad, 27 years old. Jesus. Is there anyone here that might be worth it? Rod Johnson? Is Rod Johnson back in free agency? The hell happened there? Superstar Dev. I think with Superstar Dev, he's definitely worth going for. Jabril does accept. He got paid. 23 years old only, so I'm not mad. Now quarterbacks. Ben Huang. Second best bench press. Early first. Early second talent. 22 years old. 4'6". Four, 4'. Four. Not the fastest 40 time. Good 40 time, though. Chandler Sam. Not the fastest either. Tommy Frazier actually didn't run that battle of 40 either. 4-5-7. Four, 
from Frey Friedman. Frey Friedman, huh? A late third versus Ben Huang. Zach Harrison. Damn, what a talent. I might have to take Zach Harrison. What about Amari Butler? A little bit on the slower side. I love the dev, but the speed, man. The speed. Dev can, you know, you can get dev up pretty quickly. But speed, however, is not cheap. I totally forgot about the tight ends. Teddy Bella, 464 at 300 pounds. All right. I mean, at the end of the day, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's, let's go into this drama. I mean, there is talent on top of talent. But that's the problem I have. Who the hell do we take? The number one, the number three, the number six, the number 21, and the number 31 pick. Also have our own second round, so we have a high second round pick as well. First things first. Is there someone at number one? Because obviously, quarterback Ben Huang is ranked the best as of right now. We're in a 6.4 or 6 total combine grade. There it is. I really want to trade some of these picks for actual players as well. Number one overall goes Duckett. That's the one player I did not want them to take. I actually would be cool with that. Straight up trade. Okay, maybe it's a little bit more. Dion's maybe worth a little bit less than I thought, but still. Good trade for both teams, I think. So Turban goes there. I don't know when I should take this guy that we want. Number two overall on this wide receiver board, but I don't think you can pass up the actual true talent. Wow, they gave him superstar dev. All right. This is the best wide receiver I've personally drafted. Holy crap. Look at this man. 91 speed, a whopping 94 acceleration, 92 agility, superstar dev. Supposed to go number 13. That's kind of where I pegged him, but obviously I was not going to risk it. Demarcus... Obi Ozor. I'm going to call him probably Obi. Obi Ozor. Normal dev. 80 overall. Supposed to go 6. Took him 16. Normal's rough, but still a great corner like we expected. A lot of you guys were talking about wanting us to get Lattimore in one of our leagues. This would be the one. There we go. Montrevious Adams, a second round and a first round for Marshawn Lattimore. We have to, like I said, DTs are expendable because we have a couple of DTs in this draft coming up. Mid-third is our next pick. So I'm not really looking to spend too much more money in this draft, but we got to go with best available, and that would be George Glass, who looks pretty insane. Quick dev, 81 overall. Supposed to go 9, took a 59. Very great player. So we're taking that booty right now. Maven booty, please be good. Wait, was this the guy? I think it was, too. Quick dev, 73 overall, 88 hit power, 83 speed. Damn, he's really slow, though. Was that actually the guy? Oh, it wasn't the guy. Thank God. Accidentally took a decent player, though, so I'm not really too mad about it. Late third. Can I even wait? Let's grab our quarterback of the future, please. Please. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like it. Superstar dev. I wish he was faster than 87 or 86 speed, but he does have 90 XL, 87 agility. Don't know what his looseness moves are, but 89 throw power, superstar dev. Honestly, couldn't have asked for much better, so I'm I'm happy with that. Probably going to lose Granville here, but I don't care. A little bit on the slower side. Very strong, definitely worth the pick. 78 overall, amazing. Amazing guard. Happy with the selection. Good hit power. Great player, let's please. Quick dev, 84 speed. I wish it was 85, but still. Starting middle linebacker for sure. Great excel. Number 40 middle linebacker already in the league. Cluey, definitely. Cluey is the guy. Quick dev, a 75 overall. Really slow, but 21 years old. Built as a true tackle here for us, so. Dishing out a lot of money here, but this is an amazing class. One of the best I've ever had, probably. 78 overall lineman, very fast. Built like a guard, I think. So, you're going to have a very tough decision on who to start. Slow dev, like I said. And the reason is right there. 85 speed at 299 pounds. 89 power move. Is he a DT for us? I don't know. Really don't know. Filler roll. Great depth roll. 
This should be a solid fullback as well. 84 overall. Apparently the number one true talent in the draft. Not really that happy with him being the number one true talent, but can't be mad at getting number one, can you? Zach Perella can't pass him too good. Superstar Dev, 78 overall. Man, like I said, by far my best draft. Not even close. Going on to this right outside linebacker. Don't know how he fits the team, but he's still being drafted. Ooh, coverage, please. Yes, coverage linebacker, super steal. Quick Dev. I think he's ranked better than 46. A little on the slower side, but he's got great excel just like all the other players. Armand Clay, 24 years old, but still a great talent. Suzar Dev, 78 overall. Look at the draft we had. Let's take a look at this. So here's our draft. Zach Harrison, the best wide receiver in the class. Can't even debate it. Like, there's how do you debate Suzar Dev, 22 years old, 6'6", 90 plus speed, 90 plus excel, all those stats, 90 jumping, 91, like, super beast. Abora's a Obi, <laughs> Obi, decent player. George Glass, starting DT. Booty, depth for sure. So I'm not actually mad with that pick. Freeman, our new starting quarterback. It'll be a fun one. This is going to be a little inaccurate. Short will be easy to throw, but a little inaccurate. Granville, probably a starter. Lone, our new starting middle linebacker. Cluey, not a Cluey on what to do. -y. That was, ugh, hey. Franz, good player, don't know what to do. -y. Sorry, Teddy Bill. Teddy Bell will be our number four DT. Bonham, definitely going to be our starting fullback. Perella, starting at potentially center. McKee, starting on the outside. Clay, one of our DTs. So, an amazing, and I mean amazing, class. The only thing that would make it worse for me, the only thing that could bring me down is if Huang's a god. I just don't see how it's even possible. Deion Duckett, number one overall. So he was indeed a pass rusher. So as much as I would have loved to have him, not really much of a need for us there. Definitely would have started him. But we were obviously looking for the old coverage. Heston Hicks, quick dev. I was going to go with him and we missed him, but we still have our three great corners. Jab was it Jabari Odom? Good running back. Hunter Lefevior. Good... Uh, Whatever the hell he was. Gordon Kennedy, normal dev. So-so for a mid-second. Tommy Frazier, he'll be good. Quick dev. A little bit of speed. Pretty prototypical guy. Seahawks took Huang. And I am so glad I passed up on him. I just, I had that feeling. Nowhere even, like not even on the same stratosphere as our quarterback. The speed difference of what? Four worse speed. Four worse excel. Probably worse agility. And then, of course, the big one for me. The only debate I even had between the two is throw power, which is only one higher. Amari Bradley, or Bradley Butler. Superstar Dev, very slow. Too damn good. And we landed Deion Jones and Mar Marshawn Lattimore. That's all I'm going to say. I wish we would have drafted a running back, though. I will say that. Definitely wish it. We have tons, and I mean tons, of tradeability, so... This sadly will end the video here. Next video will be us playing. You'll see our squad. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully you're going to be excited for this series as I am. This is the most rookies I've ever had. What do we have? There's two players on offense that aren't rookies. Defense has five players. So there's like seven players other than special teams that are, that are uh, real crazy. But yeah, hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video... See ya!